Where's Dr. Chris in the operating room? <laughs> he is getting himself ready for the big operation with acupuncture. And here is the patient, Dr. Rempa. I like the victim. <laughs> So we found this way of resting uh, the needle with the probe and Rampas very good at staying still. There we go. And this is the electrician, Dr. Chris, who's <laughs> licensed in which state? New York, Pennsylvania, Delaware. Wow. Which state are we in right now? State of disarray. Exactly. <laughs> now we're in the province of Chiang Mai. <laughs> Can practice medicine in Asia, no problem. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Okay. We are ready. So here we go. Here is the test. This is our assistant, Haley, who's going to be the broom holder. This is the para broom. And this is Dr. Chris, who is the chief. What are you, chief? Uh, chief, chief. Observer. <laughs> no, no, he, he applied the acupuncture and yeah, he's working for the UN making sure peace is observed. Yes, peace must be observed. And here we have the Paralyte pad that we're using. Um, now notice Haley is holding the very high-tech uh, fishing rod apparatus. And the point of this, it's an extendable very long Thai fishing rod, which can also clean houses. But the idea is, without touching the pad, which we did in the last video, she can move the pad on top of Rampa, and then we'll see the change in voltage uh, at that time. If anyone's touching it, their field uh, grounds the pad, so that's, that was something I wanted to change for this time. Now here is my magnetic meter, tesla meter. Uh, you can see it's in microteslas and it's divided into X, Y and Z or Z depending on Z, Z and Z. We've got one Haley, is a Z. Alright, now you can see that the Z component, which is the toroid coming straight out of, of the pad, is pulsing up and down. And I think we can also... Uh, we're on the back of the pad, so you see that the uh, the magnetic field is coming straight out in, in this direction. Now, if you would turn the pad over, Chris. All right, and first of all, you can see the LEDs are flashing. And again, the component of the um, magnetic field that's changing is the Z component. So that's what we'd expect, the toroid coming out of both sides. And then if we move off center, away from the pad, you can see that each dimension, uh, X, Y, and Z, is low. It's not affected by the field. So if we just bring it closer, you can see the perpendicular component mm, ramping up to about one microtesla. When we're actually on the pad, it peaks up to a little bit more, one and a half. Yeah, there you can see one and a half microteslas. Okay, I just replaced the probe and now we're ready to do some experiments. So first of all, um, Haley is going to lift the pad up and bring the pad over the top of Rampa and you see, you can observe on the scope, the change of amplitude. 
And this is a 50 hertz, it's from the power, the, the power grid. Um, so it, it's a small number of millivolts. Um, uh, but when we lift the pad off, like right now, you can see it's diminishing with the distance. Okay, and then when it's far away, if you if you put the the pad down, Haley, and then unplug it. Maybe Chris, you, oh yeah, you could unplug, and then you immediately see it switch off, uh, and the amplitude go down. So now let's do the experiment of turning it around. So we'll plug it back in. Okay, and then Haley will lift up and bring back over the top of Rampower, put it down and then we need to turn over and you can see the amplitude's lower so let's repeat that a couple of times if you could turn back turn the pad over Chris okay so significantly larger amplitude um, of induced voltage when the LEDs are engaged as well as a magnetic field. And, but like you saw in the, the um, Tesla readings, the magnetic field readings, it's an equal amount of um, magnetic field in both directions. Okay, so again we could maybe lift up just a little bit and okay, and then bring it back down. Okay, that's great. All right. So now the second part, what we're going to do is touch different parts of the body and watch for the induced voltage. Okay, so this is forehead. Again, we're not touching. And okay, and lift up slowly. Okay, we can see clearly the voltage diminishing until it's background. So this is a height or a distance of maybe 60 centimeters. It's a minimal effect there. Okay, so now we're going to go over the chest. That's great. Okay, and that's... So pay attention to the amplitude, and then um, maybe over the heart. Okay, great. All right, and then over the abdomen. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, we can see that the uh, amplitude, the induced voltage, is higher over the abdomen, which makes quite a lot of sense, because in terms of chakras, the Manipura chakra, but also the lower dantians, this is where in Taoist medicine, the uh, the Jing is the essence of the body. It's also where the microbiome is, and the body is looking very responsive to the enteric brain, in other words, the abdominal region. Let's move lower down on the abdomen. Yeah, to lower abdomen. That's great. Interesting. So, ha. Huh. The Manipura chakra, which we were on just before, has a higher amplitude than Sadhisthana. And we're sort of covering uh, Muladhara as well. So this um, stomach mid-region uh, has the most, is most effective in terms of uh, voltage flow. And therefore we can postulate that uh, flow of energy is maximum there. All right, then let's move down the legs. So, yeah, that's great. Maybe, uh, yeah, about there, that's cool. So, upper legs, similar to the rest of the body outside the Manipura Chakra. Okay, and then to the, maybe top of the knees. Okay. Yep, similar. And then to the, uh, maybe halfway down the calf, something like that. Okay, and if we can be over both cars, possibly. Okay, 
good fishing. <laughs> She's a natural fisherman. All right, um, that's pretty high too. Aha. Uh -huh. Now that's interesting. All right, that's very interesting. That's a high response. Yeah. Okay, and then let's move maybe just to behind the feet. Uh, yeah, like or. And that's pretty high too, actually, on the feet. Another acupuncture points. That's what I'm thinking. So the acupuncture points are very uh, accessible, so that they're in the upper part of the fascia here. And we're going to try the arm next, like on this side, if we can. So let's see how that goes. Maybe on the hand first. Rampa, can you open up your hand so it's flat? Thank you. Ah, there we go. So again, we have acupuncture points. I suspect if she flips it over, it'll be even higher. Yeah. Could you turn your hand over, Rampa? Thank you. Right. Uh, yeah. okay. Actually, it's about the same. But maybe you could move further down. Yeah. Because I think the exact point is interesting. How's that? Ah, now it's a nice big reading. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, now we're actually picking yeah. up that. Um, if you move away from the hand a little bit. Okay. Ah, now we're getting the, you know, in the f tops of the fingers uh, is where the meridian points end, just by the fingernails. So we're accessing that with the infrared. And that's a pretty big signal. And maybe now we should just move up the arm a little bit. Yeah, ideally at 90 degrees, that's great. Mm, good response, yeah, and then, but less than the hand. So we're definitely seeing how the reflex points work, that hands and feet and the abdomen, uh, middle abdomen are the most responsive. Okay, so up again. Cool, okay. And that's a, a medium response. And then a little bit further up. And moderate response to. Okay, so there we have the three highest points of response. If we can just go back to the Manipura Chakra, the uh, stomach area, and then we, let's try polarities. So here we're transverse across the body, and then if we can move it so that it's perpendicular to that. Let's see if there's any difference. And back again. That's about the same. So that's interesting. So that whole area is equally active, um, whereas on the feet and the hands, so the, in terms of meridian lines, they're all going through that area. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, where do you want to go next? I think we covered the body. <laughs> we didn't cover yours then. No, we didn't cover my body, it's too big. <laughs> we, we need the, the, the pyrolite too. Mm -hmm. no, okay. The jumbo, the jumbo light. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been working very well in you, Chris. Cool. Okay, let's just uh, do a few times up and down and just watch the response. So we see the consistency of that, and maybe a little bit higher if you can. Yeah. So almost to the, yeah, to the point where we're not getting any response, and then slowly back down. So roughly speaking, that's a 1 over d squared, which is what you expect, the uh, reciprocal of the square of the distance. So there's a big diminution when you're very close, and then it tails off, which is showing that it's an induced effect. All right, cool, and back up again, slowly. Excellent, very good. And then back down again. So, um, Rampa, while you're lying there, 
do all of these places feel the same or does wow. which feels most strong or yes. what's your response stomach is strong feel, uh, for my body energy really to my leg to your legs okay yeah, great to my uh, hand my arms so right now you feel a lot of energy yes, flow yes. okay and when it lifts up how does it feel Yeah, I, I feel when the uh, wind paralyzes. Comes down, okay. All right. Yes. Great. So what you feel is wow. corresponding to what we're measuring with the acupuncture needle.